Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is Booklist Thursday and Booklist Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. So today's booklist is in honor of Father's Day which is coming up this Sunday. And similar to kind of how we looked at Mother's Day and got some inspiration from that, we decided we want to give you book recommendations that have really great father figures in them. So I have a small stack here, um, some older, some newer, a whole variety of really great books that have awesome father figures in them or fathers in them. So first one I'm going to start with is the Beautiful Disaster series by Jamie McGuire. Now this is a really easy read com contemporary book series um, that follows, I guess the first book really follows Travis Maddox and Abby and them meeting in college and it's kind of good girl meets bad boy, misunderstandings, some very typical tropes are involved. I still really liked the series and Travis Maddox has these brothers who are fantastic father figures for him as well as I want to say his dad is also in this book. I know his mom passed away um, but when I was thinking about father figures I immediately thought of that family and how they support each other and hold each other up and <laughs> tease each other and pull pranks on each other. It's fantastic. So this series is really good. I I recommend it if you like an easy contemporary read. It's all, it's, it's good. Next one I have is The Shack by um, William Paul Young. This centers around Alan Phillips and hit how he is processing the loss of his little girl, Missy. Um, she was abducted during a family vacation and it's been, oh, it's been four years. I was gonna say, it's been a bit of time. Um, and her, she was found murdered in a random shack, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And he is having a hard time moving past this. So his wife takes the other two kids and they go visit, I wanna say visit family or they're gone for the weekend. And he gets a suspicious note that is apparently from God inviting him to come to the shack where her body was found for the weekend. And he goes and there's so much in this little itty bitty book and it's so fantastic, but really centers around a really amazing father. That'll get you in tears, so will this one. <laughs> Nicholas Sparks, Walk to Remember. Uh, this follows, what's her name? Um, what is her name? Oh, darn it. Oh, uh, we've got Landon Carter, and he meets this girl. What's her name? I don't know. Jamie. How do I not know this? I've watched the movie. Um, and it centers around there relationship but Jamie's father in this book another fabulous father figure so also a bit of a tearjerker so let's let's get to some non well one more tearjerker <laughs> Christina Lauren love another words this follows Macy and Elliot oh Elliot everyone needs an Elliot um and it goes back and forth in time and it follows Macy and Elliot when they first met and that is when Macy and her dad would go um stay at this like vacation house. I don't think it was on a lake, but they would go away and that's where Elliot and his family lived. So there's Macy's father is a fantastic father figure in this. Again, follows the story of Macy and Elliot and you go back and forth in time and it might make you cry too. Just saying. And I feel like I can't do a video about father figures without talking about Atticus Finch, who is um, the father figure in To Kill a Mockingbird. This is by Harper Lee, my absolute favorite classic of all time. I've read this multiple times. I think it's the only book I've read as many. I think I'm up to four times that I've read this book. Um, deals with race. It, there's the courtroom drama in this. It's just a fantastic read if you haven't picked that up. Do it. <laughs> All right, last two I have. A Gentleman in Moscow by um, Amor Tools. So these are more father figures. So in here we have Count um, Alexander Rostov and he is on house arrest and he has to stay at this specific hotel in Moscow and while he's there he befriends a little girl kind of acts more of a grandfatherly fatherly figure to her she grows up and ends up coming back into his life and he um, helps her with her daughter so 
definitely takes on that grandfatherly fatherly figure for them um, and has a really unique and amazing relationship with the both of the girls and so highly recommend this one as well as the rest of his like hijinks that he goes through while he's on house arrest in a hotel and the last one I want to talk about is Scythe by Neil Schusterman this is kind of takes on the idea that we as humans have conquered death there are no more sicknesses there are no more accidents that we can't fix we're no longer dying yet we still need some population control so there are these scythes that exist and they determine when a person is going to die and once the scythe kills you you're gone so this follows two of our main character characters they're citra and rowan they're chosen to be an apprentice to a scythe and the father figure I'm re referencing is this scythe that they're apprenticing with. Um, definitely takes them under his wing, definitely teaches them some lessons and acts as that fatherly figure in the book. So this is a trilogy. I still have to pick up the second book, but fantastic read as well. So we got a few extra bonus books this week. We usually shoot for five, but I've got seven. So yeah, it's all right. Um, comment below if you have any really great fatherly figure books that you want to share with everyone or with me or if you want to chat books and to all of the fathers, father figures, people stepping in in the father's shoes, all of you guys have a fantastic Father's Day. Head over to Sarah's channel, see what she has for the father figures to take. have ideas, but I'm not sure what she's got. Otherwise, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.